afternoon, Yellow Jim, and welcome back to more children's story stories. Today's story is called Yaakov and Asav. When we left off last time, uh, this is going to be Yaakov. When we left off last time, Yitzchak and Rivka had got married. There's a new. Uh, doll for Yitzchak, uh, Yitzchak today. This is now Yitzchak because you're going to get quite old in today's story. Yitzchak and Rivka had got married. Oh, we love each other so much. And they got married and they were so happy. But there was only one problem. Do you remember what the problem was? No children. They didn't have a baby. So who are they going to ask to help them have a baby? Should they ask idols, Yeladim? No way! What a crazy idea! Um, should they ask the sky for children? No, man! Should they ask Hashem for children? Yes, that is the right idea. Please, oh please, Hashem. Can we have a child? Please, Hashem. Please, will you give us a child? Guess what happened next, Yeladim? If you look very carefully, you might see something happening to Rivka's tummy. Getting bigger and bigger. What's inside? A baby. Well, then it started getting even bigger. Even bigger. This was bigger than ladies normally have when they're going to have a baby. And she went to ask Hashem, Hashem, what's going on? My tummy's getting so big, I can't believe it. Hashem said, Revka, oh Revka, I have a surprise for you. You are not just having one baby. You are having two babies. What do you call that, Yeladim, when there are two babies together? Twins. Are there any twins around? Are there any twins here? There's one baby. There is one baby. Here's a twin. Here's a twin. There's some twins. So, Hashem says, you are going to have twins. But, I'm sorry to say, these twins are not going to be the best of friends. No, sorry, Bob. These twins are going to fight each other. <gasps> they don't have to actually like fight, fight. But I mean, they're going to argue and they're going to be on different sides. Oh, okay, Hashem. But thank you. Thank you for that, Hashem. Hey, I'm going to have a baby. I'm going to have a baby. Junk. Can you see her baby? What? Is that a baby? That's like a tiger. It well, it is a tiger. <laughs> well, the puppet's a tiger, but I just want to tell you, this actually was a little bit like what her first baby looked like. He came out with all like orange hair all over, all red skin a little bit. It says he was all red, so I'm not sure exactly what that means. And is he orange? And he was so hairy. Do you know what he was like? He was like a hairy carpet. That's what he was like. It was like a baby was born covered in a hairy red carpet. Goodness gracious, that's why I'm using this, this uh, puppet for him. And they said, ah, oh, his name is Asav. Hi, Asav. Hi, everyone. My name is Asav. Asav sounds like a friendly guy, hey? Eh? <laughs> We're going to see the kind of things that Asav likes to do. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> okay. And here is the other baby. Here comes the other baby. Ta-da! This is Yaakov. Hello, everyone. I'm Yaakov. I might get a different doll for Yaakov tomorrow, but for now we'll use this one. Hello, everyone. I'm Yaakov. And as these children grew up, it soon became very clear that they were as different as different can be. Do you know what Asaph's favorite thing is? Guess what my favorite thing is? His favorite thing is catching animals, hunting animals. Yeah, I'm going to hunt down that wolf. Oh no, Asaph is coming. Oh, Asaph is coming. 
he would go chasing all the animals and catch them. <laughs> that is my best. What is Yako's best thing to do? I love being at home, learning Torah, helping my mom. Well, Yitzchak said, I really love Asav because Asav is so big and strong and Asav goes on adventures and Asav goes and gets delicious food when he goes out hunting. Oh, Asav, give you a pat on the head. You are a good boy. Oh, thanks, Dad. I really mean, that really means a lot to me. You're my best dad. <laughs> he really loved his dad, Asav, but he also loved going on these adventures and catching animals and all kinds of things. I... Is that, is that a wolf? That is a wolf. I love Yaakov the most because he is gentle and he is kind and he likes to help. Oh, thanks, Mom. I love you too. Oh. But you see how the dad liked Asav more, the mom liked Yaakov more. Who do you like more, Yeladim? I'm going to hold up each of them and you're going to tell me whether you like the one or the other more. Who likes Asav more? Who, who likes Yaakov more? Okay, I think everyone likes Yaakov more. That's fine. I also love Yaakov more. But shame, Asav's not a bad guy yet. He might become a bad guy later on. But for now, he's not a bad guy. He's just a bit wild. You know what I mean? He just, he's like a tiger. He's a bit more like a wild animal than a person. Wild animals can be great. He isn't really a tiger. I'm just using a tiger puppet. Wild animals can be great. They're just like, not really the same as people. So, is he a tiger? So, then what happened was, some years later, Yitzchak had gone blind do you know what blind is, Yeladim? When you can't see. Blind is when you can't see. Oh, but first, there's another important story, even before we talk about that. This is the story of the red lentils. Who here likes to eat lentils? Me. Me, I love lentils. And who here likes to eat meat? Me. Like a nice stew or something Me. like that. Me. I'm not such a big meat eater, but that meat. was Aesop's favorite. Urgh, I love eating meat. I want to go have a braai. Yes. So Aesop loved that. And Yaakov was like, ah, oh, no, that's fine. I'm going to have some lentils for lunch. So one day, Yaakov was at home, busy making lentils for lunch. La, 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 la. Cooking my lentils, cooking my lentils and make a red stew. Make a red stew for me and you. I'm cooking my lentils and making my bread. <sighs> <sighs> what is it, Asav? I'm so hungry and so tired. What's that cooking in the pot? <gasps> it's red. It looks like meat. Was it actually meat, Yeladim? It was not. It was lentils, but it looked red. And Asaph thought it was me. Oh, give me that red stuff from the pot. Oh. Um, I tell you what, Asaph, I will give you this red stuff from the pot, but I want to make a deal with you. You see, Yeladim, Asaph was number one in the family. Yaakov was number two. Show me if you are number one in your family, hands up. Show me if you are number two in your family. Uh, you number three, little man. Show me if you're number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine, number ten. I think we've covered most people on the call. So, uh, Yaakov was number two and Asa was number one. I'm number two, by the way, just in case you were wondering. I'm number I'm two number in my family. Charlotte is number one. Well, number 
In those days, it was very important to be number one. And it wasn't so important to be number two. Doesn't matter anymore these days, yeah, like them. Doesn't matter if you're number two, it's fine. But in those days, it used to be, it used to be important to be number one. Because number one could give special presents to Hashem much more than all the others. So Asaph, Asaph was number one. And so he was going to give special presents to Hashem. And Yaakov was number two. And he was not going to give special presents to Hashem. And Yaakov really felt bad about that because he wanted to give special presents to Hashem. So, back to our story. Give me some of that red stuff. I'm so hungry. Um, Asav, I will make you a deal. I will give you some of this yummy food for lunch. If you will agree that I can be number one and you can be number two. Uh, why would I want to be number one? Doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, because number one can give special presents to Hashem. Eh, special presents, special presents. That all sounds too complicated. I just want to have some delicious food. <laughs> okay, do you promise to make that deal? I'll give you the food. I can be number one, you be number two. Sure, fine, whatever, man. Okay, he has some food for you. Just pour it down my throat. This is how Asav liked to eat. Do you want me to show you? He would take a nice bowl of food, as if you've got something in your cup still. Right. He would take a nice bowl of food. And then he would go like this. Isn't that the best way to eat your ladim? Best way to eat. That's the best way. In fact, I want you all to try that at your homes. The next time your mom and dad give you some food to eat, take and say, I'm going to eat this like Asaph. No, I'm just joking. Don't do that. But that is what Asaph loved to do. Asaph says, okay, Jacob, give me that red stuff. Just pour it down my throat. That was delicious. I don't care about being number one or giving special presents to Hashem. Bye. Bye, Sam. See you another time. And off he went. Well, later on, back to Yitzchak. Do you remember what was the problem with Yitzchak's eyes, Yeladim? Yitzchak was blind. He couldn't see. And so Yitzchak said, I am now quite old and I am blind. I want to give a special blessing to my number one son. But he's got one now, one new one. Ah. So he says, I will give. What is his eyes? He says, his eyes, his eyes are blind. He can't see. It's like this. So Yitzchak says, I want to give a special blessing to my son. And this special blessing is from Hashem. It means that Hashem will always help him and will always be good to him. Meanwhile, do you know who was listening? Was Rivka. And Rivka said, Oh no! That would be a disaster! We cannot have Yitzchak giving the special blessing to Asaph. I'm going to give the blessing to Asaph because he is my number one son. No! If Asaph gets the special blessing, he's, Hashem's going to help him and be good to him and he's not going to do good things with it. He might do mean and bad things with it. Uh-oh, I'd better make another plan. So that instead of Asaf getting the special blessing, Yaakov will get it instead. Now, Yeladim, I don't know why Rivka didn't just go and talk to Yitzchak. Maybe she could have gone and said, Yitzchak, you know, I've been thinking, what is it, Rivka? I was thinking that Asaf is not the best guy for the special blessing. Really, you should give the special blessing to Yaakov. Oh, well, let's talk about that a little bit more. That conversation never happened. 
I don't know why they didn't talk about it. But Rivka said, no, no, we cannot talk about it. We're going to have to go with another plan. We are going to have to trick Yitzchak. Now, normally, Yeladim is tricking a good thing to do. No. No. Should you go around tricking people? No way, Jose. But sometimes it's the only way. So that's what Rivka said. This is the only way to make sure that the special blessing goes to the right person. Yaakov! You! Yaakov, come here. I want to talk to you. Coming, mommy. I'm coming. Okay, mom. What is it? Yaakov. I'm very worried about something. What is it? Your dad wants to give the special blessing from Hashem to Asaf. Oh no, mom. That will be a disaster. Well, Yaakov, listen to me. This is my plan. You are going to dress up in Asaf's special clothes. You are going to take some delicious food and you are going to pretend that you are Asaf. Meanwhile, Asaf, Asaf, please come. I want to talk to you. Hello, Dad. Asaf, I would like to give you a special blessing. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Please go. And make me some delicious lunch. And then I'll give you the special blessing. Okay, I'm on my way. Bye. Off he went. Yaakov, I want you to take this lunch, dress up like Asaf, and go and get the special blessing from your father. But, Mum, what if Dad finds out? That it's really me and not Asaf. Well, we are going to have to take that chance. Because we have to do everything we can to make sure that you get the special blessing. And not Yaakov. But, not Asaf. But my skin is so smooth. And Asaf's skin is so hairy. Well, we can put some goat fur on your arms and then you will be hairy like Asav. But mom, what if dad finds out and he's so cross with me? He won't be cross with you. If he finds out, he will only be cross with me. So now go and do it please, Yaakov. Oh, what should I do? What's Yaakov going to do, Yaladim? Is he going to go and try and trick his dad to get the special blessing or not? Okay, mom, I will try. And Yaakov went to try to get the special blessing. Did he or didn't he? All those questions and more will be answered tomorrow on the next exciting episode of Children's Torah Stories. Bye.